Hey there, Danny here, and uh, more wizardry five. So, um, we actually need that lightning rod I got last time to actually get one of the actual proper staffs that we need. Um, it's, uh, the lightning rod is actually you know the place that was arcing with lightning. We need to use it there. So, um, should be okay. So it's not cursed, so that's fantastic. Um, let's drop the staff for now. It's not really a central thing to have it. Um, okay, we need Cursed to cast the rest of her spells before we actually go back down into the maze. Alright, so let's get back to it. I think you guys know the drill by now. Unfortunately, we can't teleport directly to level 7, so this is basically the fastest way we can do it. Um. We definitely want to cast Core 2 here. I may have got paralyzed, that's annoying. But it's a simple fix, it's not a big deal. Okay, so you may have just incinerated the ground there, but that's fine. Um, I'm starting to learn about this game. Is it, it is actually worth just throwing out like high-powered spells if you need to, sort of thing. I think I'm being a bit too conservative with the actual spells. Houdini. Wow, he gave us a lot of XP. Except he's probably quite annoying. Give him a chance. Now, around here was that door that zapped us. I suspect we need the lightning rod for it. So he leaps out to the party, strikes your line rod, it sorted itself out. Excellent. So yeah, this is the actual um, place you go. Fire elemental, let's just beat the shit out of it.
All right, saving because uh, <laughs> this is really difficult. And don't want to get messed up here. Temple War appears, charred black scorch chest and rain, he suddenly a blazing flame descends upon you. The Fire Queen! Okay, so, um. Cool, found the staff, nice. All right, so. All right, so, status, spell, cast. Oh, the, what broke there? It was uh, Meb's clothing. <laughs> yeah, it was Meb's clothing. He's not wearing any robes now. All right, well, want me to fix that? <laughs> um, So 13 west, 9 north. Uh, 13 west, 9 north. Uh, up 6. Okay, we're good. Well, we are looking for like um, clues and stuff. Like, I'm kind of glad that Floor Seven's reverted back to a more of a traditional kind of dungeon crawl. Um, it does make my life a lot easier. <laughs> right, so um, this might actually be a very short episode. That's fine. Oh, Meb's almost leveled. It might actually be worth leveling up Meb before the end of the episode. Um, so who has that staff? Dean does. Uh, we need... One of the uh, very important, uh, one of the very important staffs that we need there. So, um, right, uh, we need to do something. We actually need to go buy some clothes from them. <laughs> uh, because he currently has none. There you go, so that's lowered his AC by one, which isn't a lot, but it's still worth doing. Um, he's 
say, there's no real clean way of doing this, so I'm actually just gonna um, rotate these potions around a little bit. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna make sure that all this is done. Right, so what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna quick save it here. And then we're gonna go back into the dungeon and get Mevin his level up, and then we'll call it an episode, I think. Um, I think that will actually be the best way of doing going about business. Um, Oh right, yeah, we need to cast Malroar as well. Um, Surprise the monsters, excellent. Uh, let's... Equipment. Okay, well, the equipment might be good, so, um... Oh, we're just gonna walk around in circles for a bit until we get some encounters. these guys paralyze people almost immediately. Right, so cast spell, Kersi, let's cast Elka, Mev, okay. If you walk up and down this corridor, I think that'll be uh, probably good enough. Let's cast a big spell from Kirsty. Yeah, these these big boys they uh, they have a lot of HP, so. the crap out of him, kill him. Ooh, actually that's the point. We should probably cast a couple of healing spells here. Don't want to get caught with our pants down here. 
Well, the objective is mostly to get Mev leveled up. Like, we don't necessarily want um, other people to be missing out on the XP here just because I forgot to heal them. Come on, game, you normally throwing accountants at me by now. Should have kept my mouth shut. Yeah, this is definitely a till await moment. I think somebody's IQ got lowered there. Let's check the gang. Ooh, that might have been Meb's IQ that got lowered. So he's about to level. See what we'll slam him up into the corner over here. Alright, so 15 west, 15 south. Fifteen south. Uh, up six. Right, let's uh, cast some big, big healy spells. Um, Kirsty needs it more. So, okay, so everyone's been all nice and healed up. I'm actually going to save it because we actually need a tremendous level up for Meb here. We can't accept the sub power one now. Loses IQ and only gains one hit point. I don't think so. We are not accepting that. Imagine working, doing, putting all that effort to lose your primary stat. Nah, we we need Mev to actually gain um, actual hit points here. Nah, not good enough. I know this is cheesy, but like. You have to understand something, Meg's been getting ones on his like HP for a long ass time now. This could take a while. It wouldn't even need to be anything crazy, just Yeah, that that is literally the worst one yet, I think. Come on, Meb, I need you to get some fucking HP, dude. We're definitely not accepting a thing that lowers his fucking IQ. 
Don't know who told you that, but nah, fam. Ah. Uh, at this point, I will settle for literally just an IQ up, just so I can actually gain the IQ up, back up from that guy. Lose IQ. No thank you. Welcome to late game wizardry, everyone. Ah, no. I'm actually so glad they took stat downs out of fucking DRPGs, man. Like, holy shit. Fine, fuck it, sure, why not? It's not what I wanted, but at least it's not IQ down, so fine. Um. He has access to another level um, 6 spell. He has IQ of 18 again. That's good. <laughs> right. Okay, so uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for joining me, guys, and I'll catch you guys soon. Goodbye.